Hello ladies and gents, Red X here with T3G. Hey, it's Ray, bro. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick movie review. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the movie Odd Thomas. We just watched it last night. Um, personally, I think it was a pretty good movie. Overall, like just sum it up like quickly. How do, how do you feel about the movie? I really liked it. I think it was very interesting. It's... I won't say it is at the caliber of Donnie Darko, mm -mm, but it is no along way. the lines of Donnie Darko. Kind of weird, kind of offbeat. Mm -hmm. um, the writing definitely could have done could have, could have been done a little better. Mm -hmm. um, the script isn't the greatest. Speaking um, of the writing and script, um, the the movie uh, Thomas is based off of a uh, series of novels released somewhere around ten years ago. So uh, I kind of just picked that up, um, judging by the way. Um, the story was going because you know it's a very very uh, you know in depth story. It's it's got a lot of different you know um, nicks to it and a lot of different things to the story. So it's usually just not a storyline that comes you know straight from from like a movie casting. You know what I mean? Right, definitely. Yeah, I mean very few things are an original screenplay these days. Mm -hmm. uh, and the things that are based on novels, I mean, I, I like the concept. I think it'd be interesting to uh, to read the book. So I might have to throw that on my Amazon list, but. Uh, it stars uh, Anthony Yelchin. Was it Anthony? Anton. Anton Yelchin. Anton. Uh, Anton Yelchin, who played Chekhov in the Star Trek movies um, recently, in the recent Star Trek movies, and uh, he, I really liked him in that. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't think of him as to who he was. I knew he, I recognized him somehow, uh, but I mean, his accent's completely different. Um, it's definitely a different style of acting that he did in that movie. So. Uh, I really liked it. I I don't know if he's putting on an American accent or if he's putting on a Russian accent in the Star Trek movies. Uh, it's really hard to tell. I, I I can't tell either way. Neither one is bad. So you know sometimes yeah. you'll have people that are that are Russian. They'll do an American accent, and it, you could tell that they're really forcing it. Um, but I, I really can't tell with him. So yeah, I, I don't know if he's a good both, thing. You know, which is yeah. a really good thing. You know, he's a pretty versatile actor. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. I mean, so overall, the the, the plot of the movie is. Um, he plays Odd Thomas, who is born and uh, named Odd Thomas. Um, he's a re I mean, there's reasoning for for why in you know his actual name is Odd Thomas. Uh, they explain that right at the beginning. Um, but it's it's cool because he's seems to be kind of like a respected member of his of his community. Yeah. Uh, they're not a small town, but they're kind of like a mid-sized suburban town. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they very much all like him. Like everyone knows him, everyone likes him, uh, which makes the fact that he sees ghosts and then goes about not so much avenging their deaths, but you know, somewhat bringing justice to them. Mm -hmm. um, it, it makes it really interesting that no one's really caught on because uh, it yeah. clearly seems like he hasn't been doing this for you know two days. That he's been doing it for a while. It's just that like somehow they find ways to to incriminate people. Because right at the beginning, he catches a guy, and it's it's. The, the the police chief tells him, look, listen, you got to do it this way so we can get him to incriminate himself. Uh, so, you know, the police chief's in on it, which is cool, because then it's it's not just the, the lone superhero. It's very much like, you know, he's built up this base of people like who he's told, mm -hmm. and from there he can kind of somewhat operate freely. Yeah. Not only does he, you know, uh, avenge, um, you know, dead people, he also um, sees death when it's coming and uh, disasters and things like that. So he goes out of his way to, uh, you know, protect people and change their fate. Um, although he does mention that, you know, sometimes he... Oh, oh that'd, be a, that'd be a spoiler, wouldn't it? I suppose, yeah. Um, and we haven't decided if we're going to do spoilers yet, so today we're going to not do spoilers. And yeah. we'll, we'll make, next time, who knows? Roll of the dice. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I would say definitely give it a watch. It's on Netflix right now. Um, that's what we got back here. Uh, that's... Not the cover, that's just one of the creatures. It's actually not even really one of the creatures. It's kind of just random art. Yeah. <laughs> that's somewhat similar to the, the creatures that are in the, the story. So, it, it, I would definitely say watch it. It's, yeah, it's a good watch. I mean, you're not going to... If you liked, um, what was it, The World's End? Um, if you liked Shaun of the Dead? Mm -hmm. uh, that's really kind of the, the, the style this is in. Um, it does. It tugs. It tugs a little at the heartstrings. It's funny. Yeah, some and there's definitely there's definitely a good amount of you know variety inside the movie, but it, it never really strays from its plot, which is really good. Yeah. Um. I, I kind of hope they do. You know, it seems to have not been a low budget movie, but the mm. you know as the graphics are the graphics really are good. really good, but that's kind of begin, beginning not to be 
the mark of a low budget movie anymore because a lot of people are doing really great stuff graphically at a really low budget. So yeah. now that there's more options, you know, the graphics in this movie look amazing. Um, honestly, it, it, it's very much not something, it doesn't look forced, it, you know, it looks like a supernatural event, it doesn't look like a computer generated mm. Sometimes, thing. sometimes, uh, you know, some of it did look kind of forced uh, graphically, but um, mm. other than that, for like, what we can tell is a kind of low budget movie, um, the graphics were like on point. They were really absolutely, good. yeah. They were amazing. I mean, yeah, even if you were to say this is in the B movie category, this is you know a top line B movie. Yeah. Um, Definitely. So That's yeah, a good way to put it. I, I hope they kind of do a series out of it. You know, if I, I hope it did enough and did well enough that it, they can do a series. Mm -hmm. I don't recall it ever being in theaters, uh, so I have no. to presume it's either straight to DVD or straight to Netflix. Even uh, if it is straight to Netflix, I don't know, you know, what its what its numbers are, but hopefully it does well enough and they do another one if it is because you know. We're saying that it's it's based recently released, I believe, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's under a, their recently released section. Yeah, so. it says it I mean, says 2013, so it might have come out on DVD in 2013, and just Probably. now we got it on Most the stream. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I hope they do a series. I really, I really enjoyed it. What about you? Yeah, it, it was really good. Uh, sometimes I just had a problem with like some of the um, sequences and the action uh, parts of the movie. Like sometimes it was like that really didn't make sense, like the way they played uh, some things out um, within the movie, but. Other than that, the best way we could describe this is a top of the line, you know, B-list movie. Like this is a really good watch. It's a really good movie. Um, you're not really gonna uh, lose anything, you know, out of watching it, even if you don't end up, you know, liking it that much. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. E even if you don't really enjoy it, I think it's definitely enjoyable enough to say mm -hmm. to have it as a passing watch. I mean, we we watched it last night uh, for New Year's, basically. Yeah. Said, hey, we've got like four hours to kill. Let's throw on a movie and. You know that's that's the one we chose, and it it was a good watch. You yeah, know, it's, it was, it was it you know it's definitely. Not, I've I've watched B movies that I've stopped watching, and I've watched B movies that I've regretted watching. Yes. Um. So this is definitely nowhere near that list, and uh, I mean I, I would definitely recommend to watch it. Yeah, for sure, I would as well. Uh, it's a good watch. You know, check it out, Netflix. Odd Thomas. Odd Thomas. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, just kind of a quickie, quickie review promo, I guess maybe. Yeah, I don't know what it's we're called. kind of playing with this idea right now. Yeah, so we're playing around with it, but uh, yeah, hope you know. Let, let us know if you liked it, if you please, enjoy the movie. Please give some uh, feedback. We're, we're we're curious to see, you know, if you know, if we got any any viewers that you know like the same kind of stuff we do, because you know, if you guys like this kind of stuff, we got a, I've got a big long list of B movies on my yes. <laughs> on my on my list on Netflix. So we might go into more of these, but otherwise. Uh, yeah, definitely. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, check out t3gtech.com. This has been Cerebro. I stole his line, apparently. Stole my line. This has been Red X and Cerebro. With ass. See, you stole my line, and now I can't even get it off correctly. Finish it. Finish it. Do it. This is Cerebro with Red X apparently losing his mind. You stole my line, man. That was my thing. And you took that I, one I figured, thing from me. I figured you opened it, I would close it. You it took just, the one thing from me. It doesn't make sense, I guess. Well, as I said. Go to t3gtech.com for more tech and reviews. This has been right with T3G setting off. Bye. Uh, <laughs> and Cerebro. <laughs> Damn it. That was great. Cut it.